This portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield. Joining us live in studio is Dr. Mark Hyatt, Executive Medical Director of Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Utah. Good to see you as always, doctor. I want to talk a little bit about the food labels that are getting a makeover. And it, it seems like just on the surface that it's going to be a good thing. Is that right? I think so, Amanda. There's going to be a greater attention to calories and to added sugar. So... Is it going to look any different, or is it going to be pretty much essentially the same? It'll be essentially the same. The, the look will change, though, for calories. They'll be uh, in larger print, okay. bold it, so you can't miss the calorie count. And it seems like it'll be more honest. So it's not going to say 2.4 servings in the bag of chips. The bag <laughs> yeah. of chips is one it's serving. One serving. Right? That's right. It it's, is, yeah. it's going from what they call idealistic consumption to realistic consumption. <laughs> so if you eat one chick, uh, chip, you're likely going to eat the whole bag. So no longer will that small bag of chips be 2.5 servings, but rather one. Okay, right. let's move on to swimming pools now. I know that the, the, the government basically did this study recently. How, What can we expect about those pools that we're going to be going to over the summer with our families? Yes, it's a good idea, Brian, before you jump in to see if it's been inspected. Um, the, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention did a study. And of the 80,000 pools inspected, it was found that 80% of them in some way violated some health uh, standard. And the, the, the severity of these violations were so severe that one out of eight had to be immediately closed. Wow. Mm. So knowing that, we just, I guess we just check up on and be careful before we go. That's right. You want to be concerned about, you know, improper pH levels, safety equipment issues, and problems with disinfectant. Hmm. Let's talk about uh, new drugs that have been developed that reportedly boost the immune system. Can these drugs extend the lives of people diagnosed with melanoma? They can, Brian. Remarkably, these new immune-boosting drugs can extend the lives of people affected with the worst form of skin cancer, melanoma. Wow. Are immune-boosting drugs a good idea for everyone? Well, increasingly, this, their use is being expanded to other cancers, such as lung and bladder cancer. Um, so far, they're showing remarkable promise. In fact, uh, the former president, Jimmy Carter, uh, took one of these drugs last year, and now he's reported being cleared of cancer. Wow. wow. So these are things that boost the immune system. They just basically make you more resistant to fighting things off. That's right. Uh, Brian, they, they harness your own immune system to fight these cancerous cells.